Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridgedeck with another flashlight review, this time on a Claris XT11GT. Now I was contacted by Claris, they wanted me to test and review this product. This is the camouflage version, as you can see. So let's concentrate on the specs. 2,000 lumens on turbo. Alright, so let's wait no further. Let's open it up and see what's in. Looking for a manual here. Now oh, here it is. And we, of course, have the join their monthly giveaway barcode on the back. And here's the user manual here. And of course, it is English on one side, Chinese on the other. And it comes with a good and very nice holster here. Now I've got to hand it to Claris. They are making a really nice quality holster for their lights. This one feels really nice. Lined on the inside, of course. This has a slight padding with a little rubberized grip on the inside there comes with a USB micro charging cable get the other stuff out here really impressed with this holsters that they're putting with their lights it means a lot then of course you get one extra o-ring and a lanyard now let's go ahead and take a look at the light Now this is uh, just a reminder to let you know that there is a protection piece of plastic or paper on the battery. They want you to remove it before charging it. And there it is. Now the clip here is removable power switch and the lever there to go through the light outputs the USB charging port side switch style and design is very nice on this now the camouflage here uh, just has a couple colors here there's no green should be two different types of green mixed in with this so really not too sure about that but it doesn't look too bad machining and finish on this is excellent this feels just as smooth as the regular body. The colored bezel on there. And now we're going to take a look at the smooth reflector there. Try to get a good picture of that. Now this is running the Cree XHP35 HD E4 LED. really nice very nice alright so let's go ahead and take it apart this is a complete kit so it comes with a battery and here's the little paper thing there that checks the battery and I'll show you the spring here heavy duty on that spring 
and there is a, a little bit of uh, grease here on the o-ring itself but not on the threads spring down inside can't see it but now we'll go ahead and show you the battery that comes with this high amp 3100 milliamp this is a protected cell adds a lot of value to the kit because you don't have to go out and purchase one separately some people may not know which to buy or really nice that it comes with a good quality cell alright let's go ahead and put it back together and we'll go through the UI is pretty simple on it okay so now we're gonna go over the differences of daily mode here using the side switch and tactical mode using the tail cap alright so we're gonna go over the daily mode first we're going to press and hold to turn that on and easily going through the light levels downward through the UI 2000 lumens on that got some bleeding here so it's going to be a little on the combination floody side nice large spill it's going to be a good combination beam on that and of course we can go through the light outputs again now on any light level you can double click on that to get strobe now in order to get SOS you're going to double click again and the light output on there is about 50 percent so it's going to last a lot longer should you have an emergency then you can single click that to go back to the last light output you do have memory mode here on the side switch as far as the light is concerned returning back from where you had it on now if you turn it off and then turn it back on it's always going to start off on the lowest output press turn that off now we're going to do tail cap which is the tactical side of the light so we're just gonna momentarily blinding turbo easy with the pressure switch on that and then you have instant access to strobe easily click that really nice fast action now you can turn the light on we're gonna go through the light outputs here using the lever and you have three light outputs on that and I'll probably end up using the tactical side for the light outputs in the night shots and that's all there is to this light nice to have two flashlights in one actually as far as the user interface at the beginning I'll let you know your battery level alright well, let's take this outside, see how it does in the wilderness. We are out here in the darkness with the Claris XT11 GT. And we're going to go ahead and start it off on high and go down through the UI on this. Water spout is blinding us back. So we're going to go ahead and move on here. That's 35 feet to that spout there. Easily making it across the park. Got some nice range on this. 65 feet to that tree from where I'm standing. Tree line, fence line. Do a beam profile here. Nice tight spill on this. It's going to do real well. Pretty impressive to make it that far across the park into the playground area making those trees in the background as you can see that tree behind the tree of life is 138 feet and that's 238 feet to that tree so it's doing pretty good see a lot of flood there before hot spot is large on this 
good combination beam. There's before, after. A lot of light coming out of this. Alright, so we're going to go down to the next level here. Still making 138 feet. That's very impressive. Water spout, we're still making it. And it is faintly making the park, even on medium. Very nice. Very nice performance on this Claris here. And it's camo, that's really nice. Very nice. So we're going to drop it down to the final level here. Still making 35 feet on the lowest output. Of course, anything from there. Now, probably anything farther than that is not going to do too well. It's going to fall off into the darkness pretty quick after that. So still some really good range on this. On the lower level, as you can see, there's some PWM there, so pretty typical on these lower settings here. All right, we're going to end the video here. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Okay, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those night shots on this little guy. A really nice performance on this, even on turbo. Now, it was really windy out there and cold. So this did actually pretty good on turbo, but it does get hot. It will cycle down, which is normal. And it's got pretty impressive run times on turbo out there if the weather is permitting. Now I really like the style and design on this being camouflage. Only wish that they had added some greens in here, like a darker green and then a pale green. Would have really added a lot of uh, camouflage look to this light. But in any case, this is really nice to finish on this. I really like as well. It's very smooth. Now, I want to thank Claris for sending me this to review. Now, if this is a kit that you are interested in getting, I am working with them to get a discount code. In the meantime, I'll provide a link in the description where you can get it. I will put the discount code if I'm able to get it and update it there at a later point. And that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these type of kits to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.